Hello everyone. This video will explain how to change the initial settings of Keypress to make its appearance simpler. If you don't know what's Keypress, please read description and watch the introduction video number 1. In this video, in order to compare the appearance of Keypress Lite version with being customized one, both Lite version and Pro version are running, but you have only to run either one. At first, let's change the display position of the main window. Make the icon of the visual mouse even larger. Display the black main window in all time. Turn off the red ribbon. Hide the numeric lock key that is always displayed. Turn off display of account information, date, and time. The font size of the history display is set to about half size of the key which is being entered in real time. Make these font sizes the same. About history display, show only the latest key. Let's change the font size and display duration of the history display. It is possible to prevent the same characters from being displayed consecutively when holding down one key. Change the width of the black main window. If you check on the force checkbox, you can specify its width in pixels. Instead, it is not possible to display keys beyond the width of. Since the modifier keys are displayed side by side on the upper side of the main window, it is not good to reduce the width of the main window too much. In Pro version, double click and triple click can also be displayed. This feature is limited in the light version. In the Pro version, when pressing the Shift key and the number 4 key at the same time, it displays the dollar sign. You can return this to that of the light version. Oh, nothing but only Shift key is displayed. Keypress may occasionally malfunction if lots of settings are changed in a short time. Please calm down. It will get back by restarting the software itself. There are two same characters lining up vertically. The upper is displayed because the live keystrokes checkbox is on whereas the lower is its history display.
As for displays other than history display, leave only the real-time display of the modifier key and hide others. It looks pretty simple. The upper part of the window displays modifier keys in real time, and the lower part shows the history of combination keys. Oops! The width of the main window is too narrow, so the word of hold disappears halfway. I'll fix it later. Finally, I will give you a nice tip for you. But since this feature is optional, please get it back if you find a problem during use. You can hide only the left click display. This makes it easier for history of combination keys to remain even if left clicking frequently during work. Perhaps for the viewer, they would like to know what combination key was pressed rather than many left click display. It may be enough for it to use the visible mouse feature. The nice point of this feature is that all double clicking on the left and right clicking etc are displayed. These are important information for viewers, so glad. Finally, I will explain an useful feature of visible mouse. In general, the interval between mouse click on and click off is very short, so even if you use the visible mouse, viewers may miss that click. In key press, the visible mouse can display the image being clicked on for about 0.4 seconds from clicked off, for example. Of course this length is adjustable. Even if you click in a very short time, the visible mouse can display the click on image for about 0.4 seconds. So many of viewers can see it easily. Keypress has so many features that I cannot introduce. When you press the help button on the settings panel, it gives you a detailed description of each feature. Then you can understand the features by reading them. Please use Keypress to make your videos more descriptive to many people. I hope this video will be useful to more people. Thank you for watching.